Round eight begins. And Jorge Barrios is seemingly increasingly in difficulty in the fight as by now on Harold Letterman's scorecard with the help of the one point penalty for low blows, Guzman is up to a six point lead. Barrios has got to be thinking knockout from here on in. I have it closer than that, but obviously the drift of the fight is not in Barrios' favor. Barrio slowing down just a little bit. Guzman still quick and sharp. Yeah, he's, dead. he's doing so many different things. Now, you know, Barrios has gotten tired, and Guzman is starting to do all kind of different tricks where he can't even think to keep up with what's happening now. Not at all surprising that Barrios gets tired. In case you've just joined us, this is a fighter who failed to make the 130-pound limit, had to give up his title if, in fact, Guzman wins the fight, or, in fact, it would be vacated under any circumstances and according to some reports was as high as 147 last week before trying to get down to 130 couldn't make the weight yesterday and gain 16 pounds overnight so his body has been through one of those trips that definitely shows up in the late round shows fight up. like this and even throwing the punches when he throws the punches you don't have the real power to snap at him anymore and a lot of that has been attributed i think to gooseman he's putting a lot of pressure on him Barrios is used to being the guy that's the aggressive fighter. It also cost Barrios, I don't know, fifteen or twenty thousand dollars off his hundred and fifty thousand dollar purse. Had to pay the money to Guzman, weight. right? Well, some of it went to the commission, and about five thousand, and the rest went to Guzman. Well, if conditioning is going to be the difference in the fight. And there's no question where the advantage lies. Guzman was able to train to fight. Barrios had to train to make weight. So you got Joan Guzman moving up in weight here from 126 to 130 and seemingly on his way to a possible victory over Jorge Barrios, who has spent 10 years in that weight class. In the next fight, we're going to show you Johnny Gonzalez, one of the world's best at 118 pounds, is moving up to 122 to take on the man regarded by many experts as the number one junior featherweight in the world, Israel Vasquez. And that, too, is a nearly even matchup that could be a great fight. This has been a pretty decent finish right here for Barrios right now. He's gotten some energy back in the latter portion of the round. Yeah, he's a tough guy, believe me. But now Guzman showed you his hand skills fighting with his back to the ropes. But he's been challenged all the way throughout this fight. He has never been able to relax. A little showboating by Guzman here. Is that a kind of a Cirque du Soleil move? <laughs> Somewhere between Cirque du Soleil and Roy Jones versus Glenn Kelly. Earlier tonight, uh, before we went on the air, the national anthem was sung by Cecilia Gonzalez, who is really Cecilia De La Hoya, the sister of Oscar De La Hoya. She used her mother's maiden name, a mother having been a singer, because she didn't want to attract attention to herself as Deloya's sister. And you know what's poetic about it? She is virtually an identical likeness of her mother. She looks so much like her mother that you have to imagine her mother looked exactly like that at that age. And a very good singer. Outstanding. Yeah. Did a brilliant great, job with the anthem. Great rendition. Round nine of a schedule 12, Juan Guzman of the Dominican Republic, seemingly with the scoring advantage in the fight against Jorge Barrios. Power shots through eight, Barrios 107 out of 384, Guzman 133 out of 267. Guzman landing at an extremely impressive 50% rate with his power shots by CompuBox count. Barrios is not a percentage fighter. Barrios is a hard guy who's, get, who's there to try to hurt you. So he doesn't care about copy box numbers. He's looking for one shot. Now, more determined body punting by Barrios, who is willing to take shots to the chin yes. in order to have a chance to throw to the body. Go Guzman is hitting him, but Guzman is hitting him more of a whack, whack type shot. Not really power shots, he's whacking at him. See what those little cutie ones, staying in a defensive shell and trying to land punches at the same time. 
So he's not really getting maximum power when he's hitting Barrios. Amazingly brave, Jorge Barrios willing to expose himself to clean shots upstairs just to have a chance to attack Guzman downstairs. And here we go again, same thing. Does nothing to try to guard his head, just wants to fire. You just don't see that very often. No, the guy, he's everything that he said he was verbally. He's that in the ring, too. Very determined, tough guy, I believe. And he's putting Guzman to the test. Even though Guzman is winning the fight, he's still under pressure a lot. And Barrios is still very much in this fight. Absolutely right. Barrios's face is going to be a gruesome and distorted mask by tomorrow morning. But he's still in the fight. Well, he wears his sunglasses all the time anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> Caught Guzman with a left hook on the chin. Well, he took those sunglasses off at the weigh-in <laughs> yesterday and dropped the half a pound. <laughs> then, while still three pounds over, he asked for protection for the front side so that he could take his underpants off. <laughs> One wag said, does he think his underpants weigh three pounds? Interestingly, they did weigh one pound. <laughs> Incidentally, in case we were wondering. Guzman put everything he could into a left hand shot to the body, and Barrios just leaned through it. And comes right back. You talk about loading up body shots. Both guys have been loading body shots for the last minute and a half. Well, I'm, I'm glad that the referee hasn't taken any points away. Oh, vicious shot to the midsection by Guzman. Barrios is still there. Very good round for Guzman. And he knows it. And he's wearing a Dominican flag colored mouthpiece. You got to count him. You got to count him. With the left. Ten seconds ago. You got to let him go. In 